Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. To conclude our section on electrolysis, I said it is important that we need to look at uh, an exam question that could be uh, that was given, and in this particular case, this particular question was given in November 2010. So I just write it here, November 10, November 2010. So there are different ways in which they can ask this question, and there are different aspects of electrolysis that can be asked. They can ask you a question related solely on, maybe they can ask you a question related solely on the this particular cell, the Nelson cell and the processes involved, or they could ask you a question solely on the extraction of aluminium, and you'll have to know all the details related to this, or they can ask you a question related to electroplating, um, where we see that we have the cathode and whatever the case may be, or they could ask you something general related to uh, uh, the, the uh, energy changes that take place, what is an electrolyte, oxidation, half reactions, etc., etc. So if you look at this particular question that we do here today, we see that, let's just read it out, the diagram below represents a, a cell that can be used to electroplate a thin metal with a thin layer, a thin metal, sorry, with a thin layer of silver to improve its appearance. So here we have electroplating. So this is what we have in our case. So when we're doing the section, what must come to our mind in our head, we must know the whole section related to electroplating. Here, for example, there's a silver metal at our anode. At our anode, we have a case where the metal that's going to be coated is placed here. Then if we have a silver electrode at our anode, then we have a silver nitrate solution as part of our electrolyte. And here we have the substance that must be plated, and it is always placed at the cathode. Here's the same thing. We got a copper metal at um, our anode. We got a copper sulfate solution, and the copper will be coated on our cathode. Now, remembering all those things, and making sure that we know a theory, and let's look at our particular question. Okay, here's the, the case. We have a metal P, and we have to coat our metal with a thin layer of silver. So which one of P or the metal is the anode in the cell? And as we just looked at the case above, our anode, we see that our anode is our metal, and our cathode, is always the substance that is going to be plated. So, which one of P or the metal is the anode? We see that our answer to the number one will be the P is our anode. <clears throat> Write down the following. Name or symbol of the element in which the electrode P is composed. And as we saw, that if we want to coat the metal, uh, metal with silver, then the metal that we use here will be silver metal. So P will be a silver electrode. Name or formula of the electrode that has to be used. Okay, um, name or formula of the electrolyte that has to be used to achieve the desired result. So the electrolyte most probably will be silver, silver nitrate, AgNO3. Okay, you could use possibly another electrolyte, but you have to make sure that the silver electrolyte has to be uh, soluble in water. So the, more, the safest one to use is always the nitrate, because the rule of uh, solubility is that all nitrates are soluble. Okay, so the solution that we will use will be AgNO3. Switch S is now closed. Yes, switch S was open. Okay, now it's closed. Write down the visible changes that will occur the following. At electrode P, Electrode P, basically what's going to happen is the silver metal will go into solution. It will go into solution. So it will lose electrons. So it will become putted. It will become, it will lose mass. That's, that's what we can say. The loss of mass. Well, it's the most obvious case. Loss of mass is what will happen to the metal. Okay. Uh, the metal itself, it will gain mass, it will become coated with, coated with silver. Oh. 
okay that's what's going to happen to the metal it will get coated because that's the purpose of what you are using this electro uh, electroplating for 9.4 write down the equation for the half reaction to support your answer for 9.3.2 so in this in the solution we have as we mentioned earlier we have a silver metal and then we must have a silver nitrate solution just to recap if we got silver metal as our electrode then we must have a silver solution and this is the equation that's going to take place silver ions in solution will gain electrons to form silver so this is the answer let's just write that down so we can say silver ions that are going to be in solution from our silver nitrate will gain electrons from the battery to form silver solid which is going to be what's going to coat our electrolyte and this can be aqueous okay how will the concentration of the electrolyte change during the electroplating process right down the increase decrease or remain the same now the silver ions in the solution will get coated onto the core onto the metal and, and become silver solid but at the same time the silver metal from the plate will go into the solution to form silver ions so we see that the silver ions in the solution are replenished by the metal rod that we have so just as silver ions are coated onto the metal silver metal from electrode p goes into the solution so it will remain the same and finally the last question you want to coat the metal with copper instead of silver state two changes that you will make to the above cell to obtain a metal coated with copper so the one thing that you will have to do is replace p with copper metal with a copper electrode basically let's just write this down you have to replace p with a copper electrode and the second thing you'll have to do is replace the the solution with silver nitrate and then change the solution to change the solution to a copper solution so maybe copper sulfate or maybe copper chloride etc etc okay and we've looked at this case earlier in fact it just so happened that we've got this diagram to show it that in this case we've got silver metal as your anode and we've got silver nitrate solution and on this side here we've got copper metal as your anode and we've got copper sulfate solution so and and don't forget it doesn't mean that the anode is always on the left and the cathode on the right we will have to look at the battery to show which one is the anode and the cathode so to if you look at it this is a typical exam question for 10 marks this particular question came in the november 2010 paper and it is not difficult it is something that if you just know your basics well it can be easier to answer thank you very much for your time